This is like natural hair mistake 101. Obviously, I googled who does that. I'm lying to you. <laughs> Second Corinthians 12 verse 6 If I wanted to boast, I would be no fool in doing so because I would be telling the truth but I won't do it because I don't want anyone to give me credit beyond what they can see in my life or hear in my message. Amen. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rochelle, this is Rosie Fro. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are a newbie passing by or a new subscriber, welcome and thank you so much for coming by. To all my old subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for your support always. Love you guys, Stack. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about my edges. <laughs> you know, in the natural hair community, we're always talking about preserving your edges, making sure that you're taking care of them so that you don't rip them out, so that they're not falling out, or that they're not, you know, fading away because of your own doing. Um, and unfortunately, I fell into that trap. It's quite embarrassing. I fell into the trap of, you know, mistreating my hair, mistreating my edges. And as a result, I saw a drastic change in my edges for the worse. I started noticing that my edges were sparse, that they were falling out, that they were thinning. And I was so, to be honest with you, I was so upset. I was so upset. Um, and all I wanted to do was cry, first of all. Second of all, I just wanted to know how do I fix it? You know, if I can even fix it. But let me just put a disclaimer in here before we go any further. If you have a hair condition like something like alopecia or you know there are various conditions that affect falling out of hair or edges please i beg you go and see a dermatologist Dermat yes a dermatologist go and see a doctor um get yourself tested i'm not here to give you a cure for your hair loss i just plainly want to share with you what i did to basically rip out my own edges and what i'm doing to grow them back so as far as I know, I don't have any condition, but if you do, please go and see a doctor first. Right, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so the first thing I did, or at least stopped doing, was I stopped wearing tight hairstyles. I know, this is like natural hair mistake 101. I understand, but you know what? We all fall into these traps every so often. And there is something about, you know, just slicking your hair back and that slick back look that we're all just going for but the the problem is that i wasn't doing it carefully or safely um and i did find that at times i wasn't thinking about you know how i'd kind of wear my hair projected the days forward i did not style my hair very well so something would come up i'd have to go into work and i have to obviously make sure my hair was looking good and then because of my impatience i would just pull and tug and put it into super tight hairstyles and that is a big no-no please don't do that so opt for looser you know um looser hairstyles so like this one that i have on today there's just like a satin pom-pom uh, slash scrunchy on my head it's just tied twice you can still see over here that he's bubbling you can see that he's bubbling over here and that's because i i don't want to pull it too tight i didn't even brush it i just i'll show you but um basically what i want to say is don't pull and tug your hair too much because that is how you could potentially hurt your edges and damage them and then you're gonna be like me sitting here with no edges <laughs> so don't do tight hairstyles i love to do um two strand twists so every week i style my hair in two strand twists i unravel them and then you know this is what they kind of look like i can wear them down i can do like a half up i can do it back and i can twist up the front um but my goal is to not tug and pull my hair too tightly um just so that i can make sure that i'm taking care of my edges preserving them making sure that they're feeling well and okay and healthy number two I cleanse and moisturize my edges. So when I go into the shower to do my little wash day routine, I lather up the shampoo onto my scalp, but then I also pass some of that lather down to my edges and I give them a good scrub. The edges are the place, edges are, the edges, <laughs> the edges of your hair is often the place, you know, on your forehead and that's the place where you kind of sweat. Um, it's the place that you touch quite a bit if you're wearing makeup, 
you know you're you're kind of blending it in there so the the pores over here where your edges at least your hairline could be clogged so make sure that you're cleansing it as well when you go into your cleansing routine and that you condition it when you do your leave-in conditioning your deep conditioning whatever it is make sure you include the edges even when you're styling your hair make sure you include um, product on your edges as well it's just going to help keep your edges healthy and moisturize with the rest of your hair and that's what i've been doing and it's been really helping me and i've seen quite a difference in the um the state and the condition of my edges number three i've started oiling my edges so initially when i you know had this little hair loss situation fading edges vibe i obviously i googled who does that and i youtube i watched you know several videos and i thought okay let me start at the beginning let me start at no tight hairstyles and then i thought okay let me try oiling um i did at first use a little bit of like rosemary and castor oil but it was a little bit too thick for um my pores over here i was getting breakouts also was getting it was just a little bit gross so then I saw that some people use jojoba oil, which is also um, the oil that mimics your natural sebum, your natural oils. So your skin and your hair will readily accept that oil and also to moisturize it. I used jojoba oil, which was really lovely. I think I tried the Mayal rosemary oil as well, but then I found the Elodia um, flourish oil and I absolutely love it. I'm still using it. And I don't know the science behind using particular ingredients. I know that things like peppermint and rosemary can stimulate your scalp, um, stimulate the scalp so that, you know, it can encourage blood flow to the follicles, which will then, you know, encourage hair growth. But I think the key is just that you are keeping it moisturized and also that you're massaging it. Massaging also helps to stimulate blood flow and to, to move it to the follicles so that the hair can, can grow, so that hair growth can be stimulated. So that's one thing I do. I don't particularly know if there are magic ingredients in this oil, but I urge you, you know, just try an oil, um, see how it works for you. Of course, check it out in addition to all the other things that you're doing. And if you see progress, Keep on keeping on. Um, if you don't see progress, of course, just chuck it down the drain and try something new. Number four, I have stopped, in addition to stop wearing tight hairstyles, I have stopped using gel and edge control as much. I actually haven't used an edge control in, I think since last year. It's been seven months now that I haven't used an edge control. I just find that because of it, I'm lying to you. The last time I used an edge control was probably March, March of this year. So April, May, June, July. It's been about four months and I've really, really seen a difference. And so obviously you're going to ask me, but now how do I slick my edges back? Why do we need to slick it back? Just by the way, why? Like, what is the reason? Is it, do you feel like you are not as beautiful with slicked edges? Because if that's the thing, then we need to reassess how you view yourself. Um, but I do understand that sometimes you know you want to make it just a little neater. And so what I do is I'll either use my moisturizing product that I'm using to style my hair with. I'll just apply a little bit to, the, to my edges. And then I'll just swoop it back with a toothbrush. If they come out during the day, I don't go back in and try to fix it. I'm just like, it is what it is. Um, another trick I try is water. I take a little bit of water and I just kind of slick it back. What you can do is apply a silk scarf, you know, after you've done that, just to hold it in place and then go on about your day. Take up the silk scarf and it should, depending on the texture of your hair, last for a bit. But again, I'm saying, why do you need to slick back your edges? Like, for what? And also, at what cost? We keep slicking back our edges with these harmful gels and edge controls. Um, and I'm not saying you shouldn't use them, you know, for that odd occasion when you blah, blah, blah. But I am saying that if you really want to see your edges healthy and flourishing, you want to, you know, lay back on how much gel and edge control you actually use on your edges. Or at least that's been working for me. Five. Silk, silk baby. <laughs> okay. Make sure, silk or satin, that you are sleeping with silk or satin on your head. But not only a bonnet that sits over here, because I've done that. You know, my bonnet will be over here 
because I need to apparently look cute when I sleep and I leave my edges out. What's that? That does not help you. It actually causes your edges to rub on your pillowcase, which is probably cotton or polyester. Unless you have silk pillowcase, go you. Um, but it's going to cause it to rub and that could also cause breakage. And, you know, that's not what we want. So what I do now is I take my silk scarf and... My neighbors have just decided to start knocking on the wall. Okay. So I take a silk scarf and I wrap it around my hair, making sure to wrap my edges as well. That silk scarf is all the way over here, my friend. It's not the cutest look, but I am going to protect these edges at whatever cost. And then I'll apply my silk bonnet as well over it. Because a lot of the time, silk bonnets have either um, a thin elastic that's kind of scrunched up and that scrunched up elastic can sometimes you know kind of hurt the hair so i apply a silk scarf before you can also apply a silk band i've seen people do that silk or satin so you apply a headband make sure you cover your edges and then you put your silk bonnet on silk satin bonnet on and that normally helps so that's one way in which i've been making sure that i protect my edges even when i am sleeping so that is me you guys that is my story i hope that you know it could be useful to you in some sense if you are struggling with edges that you are losing or you know whatever the fact may be you've damaged it yourself or you went to a salon and they ripped it out and you just really want to grow them back i encourage you to take a few of these steps and see how they work for you and if they do work if you enjoy them please leave a comment down below and let me know if there's anything else that you do for your edges to make sure that they grow back that i haven't mentioned in this video that could help me or any of the other girls and boys in the comments below thank you so much for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you have not yet done so. And I will see you in my next video, God willing. Bye-bye.